Hey, do you know you can run any 10 on 24 7 for free? I'm not talking about to run it on your own PC. Sure, that's a good way. But it will take you to keep your PC on 24 7. It's not so good, right? So you're probably thinking, yeah, we can't keep a server online if we don't pay. And I say, yes, we can. We can, and we are going to show you how to get your free NHN server. It's 24 7 and it is lifetime. Okay, so watch this video. So first step, you need to create an account in the Oracle website. And in the end of your register, you need to put a Physic credit card. That way, they will check that you are a real person and not a bot using a digital credit card. Okay, so this is really important here. But we will not use a single penny, not a dollar, nothing. It's totally free, the website we are going to host with Oracle, okay? After verifying your email, you can log in and click here in this menu. Open the compute instances and here you need to create instance. You will need to configure. So first step, choose a name for instance, all right? Here you keep the, the normal one. Next step, you need to choose your image. So we will be using Ubuntu 22.04. change shape and here we want to use virtual machine and we will use this specialty previous generation vm standard e21 micro always free okay so we want this to be always free server all right so don't change anything here next networking and here is really important to create a new virtual cloud network okay you can choose whatever name you want okay and you need a vnic name too okay and you also need to create a new subnet like that if you did it like i showed in the video it should work properly okay so in this networking step you need to download the private key and the public key Okay, it's really important to have both saved on your computer. We will be using it in the next step, so be sure to download it. Okay, so here you don't need to change anything. Next step, and you can see your configuration. Okay, if it is showing the same configuration as it's appearing on my screen, it will be free. Even though if you click view estimate costs, it will appear cost, it's a bug on the Oracle website. It is totally free using this configuration. Okay, so click create. Now that you have it, you will need to go into networking subnet. And here you need to configure the security. Click here in the blue line, okay? And here we are going to security again. And here, as you can see, we have ingress rules. We're going to add some ingress rules. That way we will configure HTTP and HTTPS. So you put here 0 .0 .0 .0 slash 0. And here you put 80. 80 is the number for HTTP, okay? And 0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0 slash 0. And here we put 443. The number for HTTPS. Those are protocols for security and you need it. Next step, you come here in this menu and you will look for instance again. Here you can see your IP. Why is it important? Because your IP is going to be used to access the website, but we want to use it via link, not via IP. So you will go to this website, Dino DNS. And this website, we have free domains for your website. You click here in DNS after creating your account. Okay, the DNS actually. And scroll down and go to get started in the Dino website. Here you can use our domain name. So here you choose a name and a top level, okay? And create. Here you have your option to choose the EPV4 address and it's totally free in this website. So turn all of these options off and paste 
your public IP here, okay? That way, the link you just created is going to access your public IP from Oracle, okay? This is what's going to happen. So, now that you did it, all of that, go in the folder with those keys we downloaded, we're going to create a command line. So, SSH, and then put this dash I, and you copy the way to this public key, okay? And as you can see, I copied here, it's Control Shift C, you put Ubuntu and this A and your IP, okay? That way you go in the CMD, paste in the CMD and press enter. This command line will connect you to your server. But remember, if you are using Windows, you must use these command lines in your keys via local disk. So it must be the C disk with your Windows installation. Okay, so the first command we are going to do is sudo apt update and then you do double and and then sudo apt upgrade dash y, okay? This way we are going to update everything and make sure everything is going to work. It's going to take a while. In these strange screens, you can navigate pressing tab and pressing enter, okay? It's really simple. All you need to do is OK and then tab OK again. Here, as you can see, I'm doing some commands. Those commands doesn't have any output. So what is going to happen if you don't have output? It, it seems it's not working, but it's working, okay? As you can see, I'm doing all of them. Uh, some of them have outputs, some of them don't, but they are doing their job, okay? So based all of these commands, they are going to make sure everything is going to work properly. And as you can see, I am updating everything and making sure all of this works. And after you do a sudo user mod, you can do what? You need to exit, that way your user mod is going to work. And then you paste your command line again to get in again. And this time you are going to be a mod, okay? So this archive that I'm showing you here is the docker compose it's really important you need to change this part and attend your domain by your link but remember keep the https slash slash before your link okay do not um erase it okay so you need an encryption key you can generate this via cmd as you can see so here is my um, encryption key and as you guys can see i did it all and it's working so there you go uh, remember to make it work, you need to write it down EOF. You can't paste it because it it has some bugs. So you need to write EOF. Everything else you can just paste it. Uh, and then you Docker Compose as a normal Docker Compose and you get things working. As you can see now, we are installing and ginks which is needed to make sure everything is going to work via link not via ip address okay okay so after the installation is complete you change in this command your link for your dino dns link okay in here we are configuring the proxy all right and down here we're going to sudo all of this giant command line and the sudo and ginks and it's going to work properly as it should but as you guys can see we by doing it we did not enable certbot what is certbot is a certification bot to make sure http is working so you need to do the following commands sudo certbot and put your link remember to erase everything else that is not the link and you need to erase this last dash that is is appearing my link it's not going to work but you need to do this step you are basically creating an account for your computer okay so you press y y put a mail and as you can see it failed because i put the link with the uh, slash in the end okay but now i put without and it works and as you can see i'm accessing it via link and it's working okay hope you liked And you can use this server that we just showed you to create a Twitter automation. And how to do that? So, as you can see, here is a workflow. To create this automation, you can go to this video that is appearing on the screen. So, check it out and create your automatic news page on Twitter.